night. We started something amazing, which were uh, the cassava leaf cooking. But what I did last night, I only set up, I didn't really start cooking the cassava leaf. I set up by washing and sifting and blending the cassava leaf. If you go on my page, you're going to see um, cassava leaf cooking part one, continue part one, then you will see part two. So try to watch all the videos. Okay, now the the second important part like i told you the most important part was the one i did yesterday cleaning sifting blending the cassava leaf and this is the second part and you cannot miss on the first one i show you and this one this is another important one this is how tasty your food gonna look gonna be by doing that part so now i'm walking you through it this is my chicken and uh, rare meat, which is beef, it's not pork or anything. This is chicken feet, this is cow skin. All these is not mandatory. If you want it, you cook it in your food. If you don't want it, you don't cook it. It's, you don't have to. And this is the small turkey neck, as you can see right here. And here is the dry fish. I have to put it in water to make it a little bit softer because it's kind of a tough. So you put it in water. I'm going to be fast with this video because I want you to catch everything as you're watching it. You can go slower. So, let me... Uh, many people want to know, what's the measurement? Where is your measurement? Um, like I told you the, in, the, in my other video, normally I don't do measurement. It's just the mind. The way you want your food to taste, that's how you season your food, alright? So... I'm going to do season oil and I'm going to do all these season. It's not a matter of mercy. You use them. If you want it, you use it. This is a chicken season. It's not anything. Uh, I'll show you all the picture. You just doing a little bit of it because you want for your food to give you that nice and sweet taste. And this is a beef season, but it's in a season oil bottle. I put it there. But it's same season here. This is chicken and this is beef. So just be careful on all. Don't do too much. As you can see, I'm only doing a little bit of each in my food. So you can just bring me that uh that's nice taste. So mm, like I told you, I don't do measurement and stuff but if you have to do measurement you can still do measurement for your food and make sure your measurement is to your taste the way you want your food to taste all right so that's what we're doing here i'm putting all this here because i want them season all right for the turkey neck i'm not going to season it with it because small turkey neck is already it's already like pre-seasoned. It got that nice taste already. So you don't want to season it with your food. So this one can't be salty. So that's why you wait to do it at last. And this is my, my Maggie Q in Liberia, West Africa. We call it chicken soup. I'm going to use a little bit of it. All in all, it just the season. So we are seasoning the food right now. I'm putting one for now, and the the crawfish, maggie Q, Those that know this thing, you will relate to it. If you don't know it, you can find all these in the African store, in the different African store, and uh, some of it you will find it in safe for lot. Some of the Q, you can find it in safe for lot, but not this kind. And my salt, I gotta do a little bit of salt just to bring all the season up. So you have to do little bit so don't do your salt too much because a lot of people don't eat salt like that so you just put in i just put in one table uh um one uh um uh, that tablespoon yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah one tablespoon of salt in my food in my 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 my, my little uh, 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 meat and stuff so you see that's what i'm doing here what all i put in here i put some onion powder in there because I didn't put no spice in here because when I was blending the cassava leaf, I put um <clears throat> I put some spice on the cassava leaf. I blend it with onion and stuff like that. Onion and, and some spicy, spicy stuff. 
So I'm not going to put, but I'm still going to put onion in here because I want to boil my stuff with, with onion, okay? So follow me. Let's cook cassava leaf red or we got two types of cassava leaf you can do cassava leaf with fry or you can do fry cassava leaf or you can do it with red or but this one i'm doing today i'm doing it with red or as the video go through i'm going to show you the rest of it when it, on the fire and the the red or everything so that's what i'm doing here everything is nice and seasoned hey don't feel discouraged if you if you are really, really good cook that you don't want to taste your food, you just want to smell it, it's fine. If you think, you know, tasting there your tongue to know that the taste is there, you want to do that way, you can do it. But for me, I do this every day, so I already know that this is nice and seasoned, so I don't have to do any tasting right now. But it's okay if you want to taste your food, ain't nothing wrong with that, all right? That's what we're doing here. My dry fish. I did not break it into little pieces yet. I'm going to break it into little pieces if I'm putting it in a cassava leaf. But for now, since I'm just boarding, I washed it up nicely. As you can see here, I'm just going to put it in in the, 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 uh, the meat and thing and just boil it down. Then when you cook, I'm going to break it into little pieces. All right, this is just dry fish. Uh, in the Liberian setting, we call it kangwe. This is Kamwe. We did it with it right now. But you can use regular dry fish. You can use bunny if you want. Okay? So now I'm putting my turkey neck in here. I got to get some onion and put it in there. Okay? So stay with me. Let's us cook cassava leaf. Okay? It's fun to cook. Um, onion. This is my onion here. Trash. So I just want to put, I'm putting a little bit of onion. You see, this is now a big whole onion. It's just a little onion is whole, but it's not that big. So I'm going to put it in here to boil the food with it so it can give it a nice smell of onion. Okay? So that's the cooking here. Sunday afternoon, cooking cassava leaf and... We're going to have fun doing it. And when this cassava leaf is done, you're going to see what I'm talking about in my video. And please, please, please watch the video and subscribe if you like it. If you don't like it, when I hear you, for you to not subscribe, just subscribe to it and keep on moving. It's fine. And um, maybe you might be thinking that, oh, it's just cassava leaf. I know how to cook it. But the way you cook your cassava leaf might be different. The way Coco Cohorts might be different, but if I you, I'm going to take your cooking and my cooking and put it together and just be your best cook. Hmm? Ain't nothing wrong with that to watch somebody else doing something that you know different. Okay? We all yet to learn. You know, if you got anything to share with me, you can, you can send me a comment on Facebook, Coco Cartier. They can still comment on you. Yeah, you can still comment here too. You can you can you can comment on 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 YouTube or you can just go on my on my Facebook account Coco Gate Dark um let me say dark Coco Gate and you will see me there. You will see the beautiful face with a nice African hair tie like I always do, and you can just send me your comment, you know, anything you like or anything you didn't like say it but don't send me any nasty comment because we are cooking here we're trying to do free cooking okay so now i'm putting it on see what i'm doing i'm not putting a lot of water in there because it will bring it in water and something important i need to show you okay the cassava leaf. When you watch, you watch the uh, the previous video, you see it look nice and green. But as it cook, it will turn out to be nice and brown, beautiful. So you see here, this cassava leaf got pepper in it. It got everything that you don't know inside. Okay. So why you don't know nothing? You already know everything because I'm cooking. 
so nothing you don't know in here everything that here we all know about it so cassava leaf cooking i walk you through everything and i'm gonna bring you back when it is nice and cook i will take some picture and put it on but these are just the basic thing we did here how to cook cassava leaf and i'll show you everything so please 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 watch the channel and subscribe to it i love you all and you're going to see picture of the cassava leaf when it cook keep on watching